You're watching TSN, the Sports Network. Christmas 1991 has come and gone. Santa has worked his magic, and the big guy is gone for another year. But Santa's stop at the Penguin household will leave Pittsburgh fans thrilled and NHL opponents worried. Why? Because the other big guy is back. Back on top of the league's scoring race. Back is the number one scoring threat in the NHL. Yes, folks, it's been a very merry -o Christmas in Pittsburgh. score in the NHL watch Kevin Stevens he's got 27 or Joey Mullen he got four goals his last time out Yaramir Yager has great moves as Ron Tugnut found out and of course there's Mario the ringleader of this scoring machine turmoil is that his team has trouble scoring from the crease the puck won't go in from the slot it still won't go in a three on one no sir this team has to stop firing blanks we've got all the action on the NHL tonight beginning in Pittsburgh where the Maple Leafs challenge the Penguins NHL tonight on TSN is brought to you by Molson Canadian what beers all about and brought to you by Pepsi it's got what it takes live from the home of the Stanley Cup champion the Leafs and the Penguins are on TSN tonight Hi everyone, I'm John Wells. The brief hockey holiday is over. There was little time for the Toronto Maple Leafs to savor their victory the other night, their first in eight games over the Winnipeg Jets, and even less time to get ready for the high-scoring Pittsburgh Penguins here tonight. After early season problems, the Penguins are gearing up for a great race in the Patrick. They have won 11 of their last 16 games and are still seven points back of the Washington Capitol. But that is just a fact of life in hockey's toughest division. Here's Jim Houston. Uh, John, you're right. The Pittsburgh Penguins are on a roll, and they're starting to look more like defending Stanley Cup champions than they did in the first 20 games. You know, they were barely a 500 team in the first quarter of the season, and there were a lot of reasons for their problems. Uh, first, they had a short but fat summer of pats on the back after winning the Stanley Cup championship. They had a lot of players in the Canada Cup, including Ulf Samuelson, who was hurt. They had too many players in contract squabbles, big money squabbles. They had to deal with the tragic illness and death of their coach, Bob Johnson. And there were other things that bothered them, including the instability of the franchise and the subsequent sale. Just too many things going on off the ice for them to concentrate on the ice. But they're coming together now and looking like defending Stanley Cup champions, and they're coming together with the aid of a master. Their coach, Scotty Bowman, has more wins than any coach in the history of the National Hockey League. He's coaching them now. He's also with Gary Green. Scotty, I talked to your general manager, Craig Patrick, who played for you in 1964-65 for the Montreal Junior Canadiens. He says that you're the same coach now as you were then. Yet I talked to players that say that you have changed. Have you? The game has changed, Gary. I try to, you know, keep many of the same things uh, that I did in the 60s. But it's a different game now. It's a high-speed game. The wingers only see each other on the face-offs. And it's tough as a defensive coach that I was to see this. But to coach the Pittsburgh Penguins is a pleasure because uh, uh, it is a high-scoring team. It's enjoyable. And the game is entertainment. And... At my stage of my career, I'm having fun. Scotty, it looks like you're having fun there. And of course, as long as you're winning, all coaches have fun. Let's go to John Wells now. 
Little doubt that Toronto Maple Leafs will have a difficult time scoring enough goals to win here tonight. The Pittsburgh Penguins are second in scoring in the National Hockey League. They average 4.5 goals per game. Well, Jim Van Horn is over at the World Junior Hockey Championships in West Germany. Chris Seedens is filling in. Chris, those championships got underway today. How did Canada fare? Thank you, John. And, of course, uh, Jim Van Horn uh, probably in flight as we speak right now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Seedens. I'll be with you tonight uh, throughout the course of the evening, updating you on all the NHL action. And as John mentioned, the first game for Team Canada at the World Junior Hockey Championships, it was Canada against the host team from Germany. 5-4 was the final score, with Canada scoring the winning goal, Patrick Pullen, with 20 seconds left in the game. It was his second goal of the game. Canada against Finland, Monday, December 30th, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. We have it live for you on TSN. Stay with us. The NHL Tonight continues in just a moment.